Hi there, welcome back to another episode of Nature Aquariums TV, where today we're going to be discussing how to reconstitute your reverse osmosis water for fresh water use in a very simple way. Before we get to our video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and leave your comments below, and we'll continue to provide videos like this for you to enjoy. Thanks for watching, and now on with our show. All right, so we get these questions a lot at the store. We get customers coming in. Hey, you know, I mean, I want to use the best water possible, and a lot of customers want to use reverse osmosis water straight into their tank. Now, I have a video regarding KH and GH, which I'm going to link it at the end of this video here. It talks about the importances of the buffering of water. I am not going to talk about that today. What we're going to talk about is the importance of not putting in straight RO water into your tank. Reverse osmosis water is sold at aquarium stores primarily for the salt water customers. That's because as water evaporates in their salt water fish tank, the salinity increases and therefore you just need to add pure water that doesn't have any mineral content into it and therefore you keep the same salinity and mineral content as it was before. You're just replacing the evaporated water. And an established fresh water aquarium if you have evaporation and you want to replace it, replacing that evaporation with RO water is perfectly fine because you're not taking out the salts and minerals that keep the water stable and safe for your fish. Problem lies when you do a water change. Do a water change, you're physically taking water out of the tank and you're supposed to replace it with the same mineral and alkalinity content of the water back. Otherwise, you start making the water into your fish tank softer and softer and with less and less minerals. Now, all the animals need alkalinity and mineralization in order for them to survive to keep them safe. So there's a couple ways you can do this. The method that we use here at the store, we buy large tubs of Seachem Alkaline Buffer and we buy large tubs of Seachem Equilibrium. Alkaline buffer does exactly what it does. It increases the alkalinity because RO water has zero alkalinity, zero general hardness. And then the equilibrium adds the general hardness. General hardness refers to the amount of calcium ions in the water, and the calcium is important for all life. Uh, it helps them build bones and skin, and for plants it also helps them rebuild tissue. So here we go and we have to measure out the difference of alkalinity and the different uh, equilibrium uh, components into it. To some customers that's always been a challenge in getting the ratios right. I've always been, man, if I was manufacturing products, I would love to build, make a one, all-in-one -one product that would be easy for customers to use. Well, I think the folks at Fritz may have been reading my mind over the years because they came out with this product called RO Recharge. And there have been other products in the market before. Kent used to have RO right uh, and Continuum and a couple other companies have it. And usually they were GH buffers. In other words, they would only increase the general hardness but not the alkalinity, that they left it up to you to do it. Well, this product is an all-in-one. And I have to stop for a second. I am not sponsored or endorsed by any way or means by Fritz. This is me finding a really good product that I want to showcase and I'm happy to have it. So what this product does, it does both. It increases the alkalinity and the general hardness in one easy step. In other words, if you want to have a typical fresh water tank set up and you have 10 gallons of RO water, you would add one teaspoon and it'll get your alkalinity in the three to four kh and it'll get your general hardness around 100 general parts per million general hardness which is perfect for all tropical fish uh, perfect for planted tanks all of it very simple if you're doing the five gallon jugs you put half a teaspoon you shake it really well and your water is good to go if you are doing say koi fish goldfish Molly's live bears, then you would do two teaspoons. And if you are gonna do like African cichlids, um, 
and a lot of the hard water species, you do two plus teaspoons. If for some reason you're trying to reconstitute this and you're trying to breed uh, wild angels or you're doing some very soft water species, you're trying to get them to breed and you want the purest water possible, then you go to half a teaspoon for 10 gallons. That's how simple it is. No mess, no fuss, no having to buy two different products. Uh, these come in a one pound bag and they're really, really good for all of those out there looking to find an easy way to get RO water and to make it uh, perfectly safe for their fish. Now, I have to say you should look into also adding some trace elements um, into this uh, and there are a couple companies that make some trace products out there that are really good but for the most part this will get you perfectly great water and this is the same thing that we use but a little bit more complex at our store here. Well guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them down there and, and I'll get to them and answer them and try to give you uh, help on it. I'm also gonna link uh, this product on our website and you can order it and we can ship it nationwide. And as always, thank you so much for watching and supporting us and catch the next video. Take care.